And is this a story and experience of times past? Because backyards are getting smaller, let's face it. Some people don't grow up in backyards anymore and kids are playing less outside. They're sitting more in front of computer games. Do you think this, this training ground is disappearing and will that affect Australian cricket? I think it is disappearing and I went back to all the backyards that these people grew up in and so many, the chapel's backyard is gone. It's been built over by a house. All the guys who are playing in the streets, you can't play in those streets anymore. Um, you know, Dennis Lilly's backyard has been subdivided. It's just the way most of us live. It's the way we live. And so uh, I don't think the environment is there anymore for those young cricketers growing up to have that constant play and that constant competitive play. And I really do believe it will have an effect on Australian cricket. If you look at the greats of Australian cricket in the last 20 years, they either grew up in the country where there's wide open spaces and plenty of areas to play, or they grew up in big backyards. In Sydney, for example, the only really good test cricketers in the last 20 years have been Michael Clark and the War Brothers. Out of a city of 4 million people, that, I think that's an extraordinary figure. And that shows that those backyards are diminishing. And that's why we're seeing the, so many of the cricketers now, Philip Hughes, good example, coming from country areas where you still have that space. Could be losing our edge if we're not careful. Steve, it's a great idea. Thanks very much for joining us. Thanks, Fran. Steve Kinane and his book, First Test, Great Australian Cricketers and the Backyards That Made Them, is published by ABC Books. And another very cute story in the book is about all the pet dogs, all the pets that helped, the dogs that turned into great fielders and allowed these guys to um, bowl more balls and uh, face more balls because the dogs were doing all the fielding.